if you're one of those people who would love to live in london and you don't know the affordable places in london that you can rent your apartment then this video is for you hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new my name is faith ojone and on this channel i talk about ways you can migrate and settle in the uk and i share my life as an immigrant living in the uk so if this is the kind of content you like then do hit the subscribe button to join the family so in today's video i'll be talking about the top cheapest area that you can live in london that will not break the bank i know there's an impression that london is very expensive by the way when i say cheapest or affordable i mean it's relative okay if you still want to live in london i mean you want to live in the city then you need to watch this video till the end so without saying so much guys let's get right into the video Before we talk about the top cheapest cities you can live in the UK, I want to introduce you to Amber Student. Amber Student is an online platform where you can source for accommodation. So if you're an international student coming to the UK and you're looking for uh, a reliable platform for where you can search for houses for rent in different cities in the UK, then Amber Student is for you. This is the Amber Student accommodation website book your student accommodation near top universities across the globe once you type leeds university in the search bar it's going to come up with um houses accommodation that is available so these are all the accommodation available and they even have video tour so if you want to see how the place looks like this is how the bedroom of this one looks like it has over 11 images so if you want to see a video you can click on the video and it's going to sh like a video to show you how this place looks like so you can see there's a bedroom so this is where you can study they also have trending properties so this is in london glasgow liverpool different area so these are the houses in london and the prices is simple it's just like seeing the apartment visually before you even rent the place you get to see um visual pictures of how the houses looks like and actually look for something within your budget as well so it's straightforward to use this website and easy so i'm going to leave my affiliate link in the description box below let me know how it goes also if you have any questions and query you can always send me an email just title the email amber student accommodation and i know that that is what you're referring to and i will respond to your email immediately so when renting an accommodation in the uk you don't just consider how expensive the rent is you also consider council tax and um bills that you pay sometimes if you don't do your research properly you will end up paying even way more than if you were living in london i will give you an example we moved from london in 2021 to surrey we were looking for an affordable place that is not so far from london because my partner works in london so we're looking for somewhere that is not far from london that is um the rent is affordable fine we got like an affordable rent by affordable i mean we were paying 1100 pounds per month but at the end of the day when, when we did the calculation we found out that it would have been beneficial if we were living in london sorry is like an expensive city so the rents might not be so high but cost of living in that place is not affordable at all so when we did the math we found out that we we're paying even way more because the house we were staying we we're paying more for council tax while in london we weren't paying that much because the house is a new build in london most of the houses in london are like old so the council tax is on a lower band so we ended up paying more including train fare to work for my partner so when we did the whole transportation council tax and getting um affordable grocery it was so expensive living in sorry more expensive than living in london the only grocery store we had was the morrison's and waitrose i mean that's like the high-end grocery store in the uk so there's nothing like Lidl or asda or like those affordable grocery stores so here are my 10 cheapest places you can live in london number one is bexley average rent price is around 850 
to 1200 for a two bedroom apartment bexley is in the southeast corner of london and it's one of the cheapest places to rent in london as it's out in zone 6 and the border of london and kent bexley offers more residential vibe than the urban and is not far from greenwich so if you enjoy green area um somewhere that is not so much like city or somewhere that's not too much country then bexley is for you bexley is in south london kent commute time to central london is about 30 minutes the next on my list is bromley average rent price is about 1100 to 1300 for a two bedroom bromley is on the southeast london there are two stations in bromley the bromley south in zone 5 that runs to blackfairs and victoria that's london victoria or peckham there are smaller stations including shotlands and beckenham junction a new time to central london from the bromley south station is 20 to 30 minutes okay next on my list is lewisham this is where i currently stay okay and average rent price is around 1200 to 1.4 i mean yeah it's a bit expensive but for a london two bedroom apartment i don't know i think it's fair okay so um lewisham is around the southeast london and commute time to central london is 10 minutes to london bridge and 15 minutes to cannon street and 20 minutes to charing cross so all these are popular train station that is not far from um, people's workplace so if you work in london i mean if you have a job in london it makes sense for you to live in london do not go and stay out get london you're gonna spend a whole lot for transport and the stress is not worth it trust me guys where we stay it's a two bedroom fully furnished i've shot a video um doing like a house so if you've not seen that video i'll leave the link in the description box below go and watch the a video to see the house it's fully furnished we are paying 1300 pounds for the rent per month next on my list is croydon i mean croydon has its own <laughs> i mean a lot of people do not like to go to croydon if you're in nigeria watching this croydon is like lagos oshodi croydon is like peckham they are brothers and sisters so there's west croydon and south croydon so and east croydon as well so the east croydon path is really chilled and um it's not far from where i was living in sorry that's ketrum and i was working in croydon i frequent croydon a lot and that's where i do my grocery shopping so croydon is like my second base so um east croydon is quite chill south croydon is not so it's quite chill as a boy you see west croydon nah mm -mm. <laughs> anyway average rent is around 1100 to 1400 for two bedroom is in the southeast of london the commute time to london is about 15 to 25 minutes to london victoria or london bridge okay the next on my list is hillingdon average rent price is about 950 to 1200 for a two bedroom and it's in the area of west london commute time to central london is about an hour it is the London second largest um, borough close to Heathrow Airport than the central London. So, Hillingdon is more close to Heathrow Airport than the central London. It is affordable with a lot of green places. So, if you like, like, green area, then Hillingdon is good for you. The next on my list is Newham. So average rent price is about 1100 to 1200 for two bedroom. Newham is one of the cheapest areas to rent in London and it is located far east London. Okay, Newham is one of the most diverse places to live in London. So of course it's mixed. So if you're coming in as a foreigner, you're not going to find it difficult to settle in because you're not going to be feeling, oh, I'm the only foreigner in this place, like how we were feeling back then in sorry. Newham is a great place for you to stay if you have a tight budget. Cheapest rent um, for a two bedroom is for like 700 to 1200 per month. And the distance from Newham to central London is about 8.5 miles. So the next place on my list, which is the last and final place, is Sutton. Average rent price is about 900 to 1350 for a two bedroom. And if you're looking for a more charming place to rent, with family i would recommend you go to sutton so these are my top pick and other places that is affordable so all you need to do is do your research read about the environment and see if it's something you'd like and if you're already in the uk before you rent an apartment i would advise you to just i mean take time go to that area that particular area where you want to rent just stroll around just to see how the place is before you rent guys 
we have come to the end of this video if this video was helpful give me a thumbs up like share comment subscribe and tell me what you think in the comment section i'll see you in my next video bye